So I'm currently in Orel, the uh, fourth valley of the three valleys. And the plan now is to take uh, this uh, telecabine, this gondola, over to Val The uh, telecabine is new. It was uh, upgraded at the beginning of last season. So the 21-22 season. We're now at the start of the 22-23 season. Uh, so uh, it's possible as a pedestrian to go all the way uh, from Orel over to Val Torrens. It should take 40 minutes, so let's give it a go. From that, the mid station, this is uh, Plan Boucher. It's 2,350 metres and it's the main central area if you're from Orel. You don't, can't ski uh, back down to Orel, but around here there's some cross country. There's an excellent restaurant that I ate uh, uh, yesterday, and behind me you can see the Orel Caron lift. This is a new lift that was introduced uh, uh, at the start of last season. Prior to that, it was only the chairlift behind me, uh, the Roselle uh, chairlift that would take you up to connect to Val Torrens. I'm standing outside now. As a pedestrian, I don't need to go outside. It's undercover to get back onto the Arel uh, Caron lift. So I'm gonna do that now up to 3,200 meters. So the Arel Caron, which I'm on at the moment, uh, takes you the remaining 800 metres up to Cine de Carol. Uh, it takes about five minutes, and at seven metres per second, it's one of the fastest gondolas in France. Very new technology. So this is the only section where you have to go outside. There are some tunnels, but I've got a bit of work to do getting to that one there this morning. Bit of fresh snow. Okay, so no one's been here today. Wish me luck. Ah, this is the only open area. until you get to the top of the cable car. Well, I won't lie, dragging your bag at 3,200 meters, even up a little slope, is quite high, but there's a hell of a payoff from this view. There's clouds around, and as you can see, the mountains are poking through. And just behind me there, amazing, just seeing the strata of clouds, there's Mont Blanc. Quick change from the cable car, and onto the gondola down to the next stage. So I'm on the uh, stage now down, still coming down from Cine de Caron, but I'm on the, uh, on the uh, Val Torrens, uh, side now. One more lift after this one, the Cairn, to get into Val Torrens itself. Not many people probably would do this with luggage uh, as I have to go from Morel to uh, VT. Um, you know, you could find that maybe you wanted to go and, uh, you know, park in, uh, in a rail because it's free parking there and go over to Val Torrens. More likely, it would be um, someone perhaps doing a day trip and possibly in either direction. So you might be staying in a rail and it's someone who's a non-skier, they want to go to Val Torrens for the day or maybe a family might want to go over and try the uh, tobogganing that they have over there or try the new sports centre over there. Uh, both the options that make it uh, much easier to uh, get there. Alternatively, it could be people from Val Torrens who want to go over to Arel uh, for the day. Maybe again, you know, it's a, th a three generation holiday. There could be grandparents on holiday with you or something like that. And they think, oh, well, I want to go and see a really lovely traditional village like Arel rather than the purpose built uh, type of resort that Val Torrens is. And they, you know, you see uh, something more authentic and uh, more alpine. So out and onto the final lift. So I'm here in Val Torrens. I've arrived, taken lifts all the way. Still got my bag uh, here. Now I just need to go and check into my hotel. It took a bit longer than the 40 minutes uh, they say, but I did stop and do a few videos. Uh, plus, it, when there was a lot of uh, snow and ice at the top of Cine de Carol. Uh, the uh, lift operator there had to uh, spend a bit of time clearing ice off the front of the uh, cable car. 
Uh, but it's taken me about uh, an hour, slightly under an hour to get here, so definitely possible uh, and a new experience.